All right, good afternoon, everyone. This is Coach Teague, and I'm coming to you again with another of my Bama takes where I give just some insight and just opinionated comments about my favorite college football team, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Before I go in any further into this video, uh, I ask that you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content that I'm presenting with my takes. And also, um, hit that like button if you like the content that's being presented as well. So without further ado, today's video is kind of short. I just wanted to touch on something that was asked of me probably a couple of weeks ago by another fellow coach in, um, that I'm acquainted with. And we were talking about our favorite college football teams and you know, he knows I'm a big Bama fan. And he asked the question of me that I've never given a lot of thought to. And that question was, who is your all-time favorite Alabama Crimson Tide football player? And I've never really thought about that. So I thought today I would pose that question, answer it after I've given it some serious thought and see what you thought. Who was your favorite all-time Alabama Crimson Tide football player? So for me, after thinking about this for a while, I began to kind of backtrack to when I started watching Bama um, late 70s. I followed Stedman Sheely real closely because he was from my hometown of Dothan, Alabama. I actually graduated with my aunt and uncle. And um, so there was some familiarity there. After him, I, I watched Walter Lewis real closely at quarterback. Um, he was kind of a change of pace from um, what we had been used to. He was a, a lot more athletic than most Alabama quarterbacks during that time, even when they were running the wishbone under Bear Bryant. And um, yeah, so from there in high school, I followed... Um, Bobby Humphrey real closely. Um, the running back position was always a position that I liked a lot. Um, and Bobby Humphrey was that guy at one point. He was putting up some ridiculous numbers at that time. Then after him, still keeping in tune with the um, running backs. When we got Sean Alexander, man, he was a big back. And that's something I gravitate to. I love big backs, being a coach myself. Uh, there's nothing like a big, strong running back. And Sean fit that mode, was very agile as well. I love watching him. He was featured a lot. Um, so I, I like Sean a lot. Then from there, we get to the early 90s. And, um, man, I remember the DuBose era. era. And uh, Freddie Millens being someone that I thought was pretty dynamic at receiver. Um, I just remember watching him. I mean, I could spend a lot of time going through so many players, but the ones that just jump out, um, that early 90s run also when we won the national championship, um, Derek Lassick was a running back I watched and just kind of gravitated to some guys on defense. I liked um, Copeland and Curry were just, I mean, they were Copeland and Curry. Um, you fast forward to the Saban era, um, I know I'm skipping over some seasons and some, you know, things, but just kind of for the sake of this video, kind of get into who my favorite player is after I thought about it. But in the Saban era, God, it had to be Julio. God, it had to be Julio. Now, Devontae Smith is, ooh, ooh. But Julio, Julio holds a special place because Prior to Julio coming in, I mean, you had Urban Meyer that was just killing it on the recruiting scene. And we were not getting those top tier players when Julio came in and I was following recruiting services real closely. Julio was that guy. He was the guy that at the time we didn't think we'd ever get. And then the, the recruiting dynasties just started rolling. But uh, without further ado, after thinking through all the players that have come through Alabama in my lifetime, the one player that I would say is my all-time favorite player, David Palmer. Easily David Palmer for me. 
Um, he was the first Bama player I watched that when he that ball was in his hands, you held your breath. For any young guys who have never heard of him, Google him. Search him up on YouTube. He was referred to as the Deuce. And he was different before the word different was being tossed around like it is today about just these superb athletes. He was before his time. Um, man, the things he could do on that football field were just ridiculous. Um, one game of that stands out to me of all the things that he did in his career. And I can't remember who the opponent was, but we were playing a game. Bama was getting ready to place an opponent. And the starting quarterback, Jay Barker, went down. To show how dynamic Deuce was, Gene Stallings took David Palmer, who was starting receiver, played some in the slot, starting kick returner, punt returner. And when Jay Barker went down and we needed a quarterback for the next game, he just completely ignored, and I'm being a little facetious here, quarterbacks two and three on the depth chart and started David Palmer at quarterback. Who, who does that? That shows just how dynamic he was. And um, I think we ended up winning that game. Again, feel free to correct me with um, if I'm wrong. But um, no, David Palmer was my favorite, when I think about it, all-time Alabama player. And there have been great ones, guys. There have been great ones. And I could make an argument for many others. But for me, it's the deuce. It's the deuce. So again, uh, just a quick video, just wanted to reach out to any guys watching this video. I saw my last one had a lot of views on the A-Day game. And I gave my review of that. So I kind of want to know, as a Bama fan, who is your all-time favorite Alabama player? Leave your comments in the comments section. Let me know and tell me why. Okay. So again, this is Coach Teague coming to you today with one of my Bama takes. I'm asking you, who is your favorite all-time Alabama player? Talk to you soon.